Welcome to Saturday's Rough Cut Review, Rough Cut Watchers. I am Coffee Doug, and this week I will be reviewing The Thing. Not John Carpenter's The Thing, but MVH's. That's what I'm going to name him because I couldn't really pronounce his name very well, and I'm going to be doing the remake of this one. Well, you know what? I should correct myself right off. A lot of people called it a remake. It's not a remake. I just saw it in theaters probably a couple weeks ago, and it is a prequel. So it is in no way a remake whatsoever. It is a uh, true through and through prequel to the 1982 version, which John Carpenter did. Uh, his was based, kind of based on the 53 version, um, but more so based on the version of the book uh, called Who Goes There. So this is a prequel to John Carpenter's film. Um, it, uh, the overall plot, many of you have seen that original. If you haven't, it's about a bunch of scientists and people um, I want to say it's in Alaska, I could be wrong about that, but it's in somewhere very cold, and they uh, find a, an alien or entity or this weird thing that terrorizes them. Um, in that movie from the 82, they go to another base for a little bit to figure out where this damn thing came from. This movie is the story of what happened at that base. It's not getting the greatest reviews online right now, and to be honest with you, I don't know why. It's really funny. A lot of people love the 82 version. It's like one of their favorite horror films of all time. And I watched that for the first time in preparation of this new one, probably about six months ago. And my first viewing of it, I didn't like it at all. Even though it did star Wilford Brimley, who is the spokesperson for Diabetes and Quaker Oats and was in both Cocoon movies. I love you, Wilford Brimley. But it, uh, I didn't love it. Like, I didn't get it. I didn't know where what they were trying to do. Watching this prequel has helped me appreciate it. And in fact, this very DVD I gave to JM85 to just get rid of or sell or whatever. And actually, after I saw the... Uh, the prequel in theaters, I told them not to. I, I put a halt on it. I said, JM85, whoa! I'm going to need that back because I want to give it a reviewing, watch it again, along with the one I just saw in theaters. Um, the creature effects were astounding, and I'm sure they use quite a bit of CGI these days, but I did hear that they tried to keep a lot of it old school and uh, film it in the way that the older one was done. Uh, the creature just looks really creepy, and they do such a... In this one, they do a better job of explaining on what the alien is doing. Like, is he replicating people, or it's not he, but is it replicating? Is it devouring? Is it what it's doing? And I don't want to give too much of the plot away, but they discover this thing. It's not dead. It was in the ice, frozen, but it comes back... And they're just trying to stop it, because if it gets out, the whole world is going to be screwed. So, uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who was in Scott Pilgrim, she plays a Ripley-type character, and you can tell they kind of pay homage to Ripley from Aliens. Uh, she's just a very strong female character. There were no females in the 82 version, so that's kind of big. Uh, you know, and she does a really good job, and... The whole movie, you don't really know who to root for because anybody could be the alien because it can replicate people. So, that's not really a huge spoiler, but that makes it much more psychologically interesting because you don't really know. You don't even know if the actors knew at the time whether they were playing themselves or the alien, which I kind of liked. You know, I think they uh, kept it very mysterious. This prequel really did hold true to the uh, 80s. When it was set, you could tell they got a lot of the props and actual uh, clothing styles and just uh, dialogue and things like that from the 80s. So they do a real good job of setting it up to lead in to John Carpenter's 1982 uh, The Thing. So I recommend seeing it. If you're a fan of the original, I would lo I'd like to say you'll love it, but I'm afraid that maybe you'll think it's... Uh, you know, maybe you'll think it's blasphemy by trying to set a prequel to his, but I guess I didn't love it enough that I was fine with it, and I think both films together make a much better uh, series. So, watch The Thing, let me know what you think of The Thing, and that is that. Until next time.